Hello and welcome to The Professionals. All business owners will know that tax is terribly complicated. We are very much in the hands of experts. As marketers, we also know that podcasts are a really powerful tool to convey technical information in an engaging and often entertaining way. My guest today has combined the two successfully. I'm thrilled to be joined by Natasha Heron, a tax manager at the accountants Hillier Hopkins and host of the Tax Able podcast. Tash has kindly agreed to share with us today how she has built her podcast and how it's helping her develop her own career, whilst all of the time just making tax that little bit less complicated. So, Natasha, welcome to The Professionals. Thank you for having me. Um, Tash, I thought the first question um, that might be really helpful is just really briefly introduce yourself and explain perhaps what prompted you to start the Tax Able podcast. Sure. So um, as you're aware now, I'm Natasha Heron and I'm the host and creator or the mother of Tax Able with Tash. Uh, each week we look at a different subject and discuss the main tax considerations that a business should be aware of. The aim is to overall demystify the tax world so my listeners have a better grasp of the key topics and they will feel confident asking their advisors questions, but most importantly, understanding the answers that they then receive. Uh, each episode is under 15 minutes, so it's not gonna send you to sleep. So it's all bite size and it's a nice, easy introduction or to top up your knowledge about tax. Tasha, what prompted you to start uh, the Tax Able podcast and who is it aimed at? So I started thinking about the Tax Able podcast during the first national lockdown. A lot of my friends unfortunately lost their jobs. So they started of thinking of alternative ways to earn some money. Quite a few started up their own businesses, but then I found that I was becoming increasingly popular with a lot of quick questions. And if there are any accountants or lawyers or tax advisors listening, you always know that the quick questions tend to be the most complicated and uh, take the longest to answer. So I started thinking, how could I help my friends and how could I basically save myself some time? And the Tax Able podcast was kind of birthed from there. So it's a way of helping people get more of a tax basic like tax-based knowledge on different topics or that maybe they're not quite familiar with or they didn't realize how the different taxes interacted with one another and most of my most of the questions I get are from people aged from about 21 to 37 people that have just um, started out and they maybe perhaps don't even know the names of the taxes or you know they ask a question and it could have an implication far wider than they realize so it's a way of approaching different topics and uh, saving myself some time overall. It sounds like um, tax saving is like having a tax expert in your pocket uh, yeah. with, with a quick answer to those questions that always crop up when you're starting a business. Um, I wonder, I mean, one of the challenges it must be with a podcast is coming up with fresh ideas and keeping those ideas fresh. How do you um, do that? Well, today is actually been quite easy. I've been doing some chores. They have been brushing my teeth and then all of a sudden I get a brainwave saying, oh, buy the whole kit and caboodle. I was like, oh, that'd be fun to talk about uh, capital allowances or I'll be listening to a video or a song or I'll be watching a TikTok and there'll be a song. Something prompts an idea and I heard a Beyonce song and I was like, oh, should you put a ring on it? Let's do the tax benefits of marriage. And it's kind of, today, I haven't found it too hard, but obviously coming up with 12 for season one isn't too taxing, but coming up with season after season, I'm probably going to need some help thinking up like sort of tongue in cheek titles. And I guess um, the beauty of the tax landscape is it is always changing as well. There's always yes. new developments and things like that to keep uh, those ideas coming. Great for me, not so great for people that have finally got a grasp on tax and then all of a sudden we're like, by the way, what you knew now either doesn't count or it's completely changed, mm. but at least it keeps it fresh for us. Yeah. And um, what do you, uh, what's your aims and aspirations for the podcast? What is it you're hoping to achieve um, with Taxable? 
Ideally, I'd like to grow a consistent, large listenership and then from there do some online webinars. Um, I mean, hopefully at some point we can do in-person uh, seminars again. That'd be great to interact with my listeners and help their businesses grow. Ideally, I want to you know, take over the world with tax. But, uh, so I have lots of ideas that I want to implement. Ideally, I'd like to start doing um, listen, like, listen live. So say I log on to either an Instagram live or a Facebook live and answer questions, say I could do one morning a week or eventually it could grow into a bit more so people can ask some pressing questions. But there's lots of ideas I have. I'm a kind of like an entrepreneur. I've got a thousand ideas. I need to do the basics first before implementing too many levels. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is. Um, it sounds to me as if it's been a fantastic sort of way of a raising your own profile, but also helping you build the career. Has it been a good business development tool for you? Definitely, the podcast helps you reach a, a wider and completely different audience that you wouldn't would usually. So through my employer I get to talk to their clients and potentially you know friends of friends can become clients and I can talk to them about that but the podcast reaches people of all ages on different platforms you know we I have it on Spotify, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, it's on Facebook, it's on Instagram, it's on TikTok and there's lots of different people it would it's reached that it that I never would have spoken to through my own job or if I launched it just by myself on one platform. So it's been great. And I've had messages from people that I haven't spoken to or seen in maybe like 10 years. And they've said how much it's helped them with their business. They enjoy listening to it. So when they're doing the ironing or they're commuting to or from work. So it's been great to uh, check in with them and know that it's actually reaching people beyond my friendship circle and through my job. I mean, it sounds fantastic. It really does. I mean, one of the things um, when I'm talking to friends and colleagues is, is it, it can be quite daunting and, and to set up a podcast. There's a lot of new technology to, to get your head around. And then there's actually building that audience. How, how easy has it been to get a podcast up out of the ground and develop and build that audience? So I've got a really great team behind me. I have Redwood Studios that edit it. I had a company called Seek Create the website. And then most importantly, I had Wizard Radio push it out on their radio station and they launched it in all the platforms for me. So I couldn't have asked for a better team. And I've got, not forgetting my employer, Hillier Hopkins, who've also their marketing department, they pushed out on all of on their website to their client list. So I did have a baseline of listeners already rather than if I started it out just on my own I think the organic growth that way would have been a lot harder but even with all this help I have had a few moments where I wanted to scream into the pillow so do not take like going into a podcast lightly it is a massive commitment and there is a lot of work that goes on behind the screens like scripting an episode does take a long time because you want to make sure it's not only technically correct but it's engaging and your personality shines through because that's what people connect with. And like you said, there's a lot of technology that us as, ta as a tax advisor and an accountant, I had absolutely no idea. I didn't know how to set the microphone up. I didn't know that there was one side of a microphone you're supposed to talk into. And then all of the various subscriptions and platforms I've, I now have, I, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of hours on how to do it. So obviously you have a few teething problems at the beginning and it becomes second nature, but it has, it's been great and you need to make sure you have a good team, but you, it's not going to be smooth sailing for the first few seasons. I think there's some wide, wise words of advice there, <laughs> um, Tash. Um, I mean, for anybody considering um, starting their own podcast um mm. whether they're accountants or lawyers or, or other professionals what what would you sort of recommend they do um before they just kick off and go for it yeah you have to make sure that you surround yourself with a great team because you are venturing into things like sound engineering there's one episode where it sounds like i'm talking in a fishbowl because the the platform i used to record it recorded it through my laptop a speaker rather than the actual equipment that I have set up and it's things like that you want it to be professional and a good quality from whatever you're releasing you want it to be match the level of your company or your brand 
So you need to make sure you've got the right equipment, the right editing, as well as the right technical knowledge. But it is really fun and exciting creating a podcast. You get to show a different side of your personality than you do when you write articles or if you are talking to clients. So you can let your creative side shine through. It's just make sure you've got everything working in the background to make sure that it's as easy and stress-free for you. Fantastic. Um, Tash, one final question to wrap up. How do you see the Tax Able podcast evolving over the next uh, over the next few months and into season two? Yeah, so I've started recording season two. We've um, I have a bank of videos that I do. So season one ends at the end of February. So those are still being released and still being pushed out. And then right now, while that's happening, I'm recording season two. But season two is slightly different as I'm doing 12 episodes on different industries. And then I'm also supporting those episodes with interviews with industry leaders or industry stars. So that's Going, venturing into a different world of we're going to they're going to be longer form they're going to be around 40 minutes to an hour and we're not really talking about tax it's more about a business journey how someone got into that area what successes they've had what failures they've had what advice they'd give to their younger self and then I'm going to later do a tax analysis on it because I thought if I launch into a lot of tax with someone sat opposite me they're probably going to glaze over but obviously listeners later on are going to want to know the tax side of it so we're going more into the youtube side as well as the podcast side so it's ever evolving but I'm sure there'll be a few teething problems there as to think about sounds really exciting um and how can people find the tax able uh, podcast if they wanted to so you can find it on the website which is www.taxablewithtash.co.uk you can find it on any podcast platform by putting tax able with tash it should come up as soon as you put tax in usually or you can also find me on instagram which is tax able with tash or on tiktok so you can follow me on all or any of the platforms fantastic tash Thank you ever so much for joining the professionals. It's been really, really interesting. And uh, I will be sure to tune into the season two. Thank you for having me.